Hello everyone, my name is Triplus and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be taking a look at how to share your Unity's game URL every build that you do when you're using like a versioning tool like uh, Subversion, Git, whatever. So I wrote this complete blog here, um, this blog post I mean, with everything you need to know, but I will run through it with you. So there are a couple requirements first, you need a web server, uh, which is basically should be able to receive HTTP POST requests and also perform HTTP GET requests. Um, you could use MySQL, but I'm just going to write the URL to a text file which can be read from another web page. And you need your Unity's uh, cloud build set up with automated builds, which is another topic. It's not that hard to set up, but it is a requirement for this. So on your web server, you're basically going to need two files or at least one file this webhook.php you can name it whatever you want doesn't matter but this file will basically receive the http post requests and from there will do some actions and give you back your share url and this index uh, page is basically what i am using to show to redirect to my share url so this code what it does it basically receives the HTTP POST request from the web server, and then it performs an HTTP GET request on the Cloud Build API to get your share URL. Um, so for this to work, um, you need to find your organization ID, project ID, and target ID, which can be found when you go to this URL and they will be visible there. I'm not going to go to there because I would have to black out too many different uh, lines because it's just a JSON file, but you will find it there. Um, and that's basic, and, and of course your API key, which you can find, as you can see here, uh, when you go to preferences, so in your cloud build, you click preferences here, and then it will be visible on the bottom of the page. Um, of course, I'm not going to show it, but as you can see, it should be here. Um, once you have those filled in, this page is basically done. And then your index page, I just redirect to my share URL. Um, this is an optional step. If you want to use any other uh, means of doing this, you can write it to MySQL in the other file and then read it out from MySQL. That's completely up to you, but this is just a base uh, information on how to do this. Um, then the important part basically comes in your cloud build, you're going to do have to do some configuration. So I'm not going to move the page too much because I would have to move uh, some boxes to, to uh, hide information, but you basically go to your cloud build uh, and to the project from your cloud build. And uh, then you click on notifications here. Um, this is basically the part where you can configure everything. As you can see, I will add a new um, webhook and here you will paste the URL of your webhook file that we created over here. So to this webhook file, which contains this code. So you basically put that in here. The content type is JSON, that's fine. This is optional, as I say here, because if you want to uh, secure your page, you could basically, this secret, you could check in the, the, the HTTP uh, post request if the key is the same. If it is fine, then you can proceed, but that's optional. If you don't show your web URL to everyone, it should be fine. Um, so we only want to call an event when uh, the build has successfully finished. In other cases, we don't really need to do anything unless you want to auto rebuild once it fails or whatever. Um, SSL is not required because I'm using a, a simple HTTP instead of HTTPS. And of course you need to make it active. Once you go, once you, you save this, we should be fine. And every time a build completes, everything should be posted. And what happens then is that if you go to the website of your um, browser, you go to play, well, this is just my button. I linked it to my index page, as you can see, slash index, and then we go to the game and here you can play your game. So this will auto update. You can do it via database. You can do it via text file, whatever suits your needs, but this is basically a simple way of auto sharing your cloud builds URL. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.